All right, so I got a hold of another Commando Ultimate Security Padlock. And you can see there's the brass one that I did last week. I showed that one last week, how easy it was to unlock. Somebody said it was a fluke, and it was just poorly made. So I got a hold of another one, and it's the steel one, the stainless steel, or whatever, resistant steel. But it's made by the same company. Made in, let's see, the Commando Lock Company in Troy, Michigan. And you can see it's a new item. And they make uh, a line of padlocks. There's one, two, three, four, five different styles. And I think they have a few that are have some of those bumpers that are different. So let's take a look at this new one and see if it was really... Let's see if this one is uh, the ultimate security lock. I'm just going to use this little uh, turning tool, put some pressure on the core, and I'm going to use this pick, and it's nothing special, it's just two little bumps there, and I'm pushing down on the pins, see if I can get this thing open. Just pushing lightly down on the pins. So there is the new Ultimate Security Lock. And just to go over how easy the other one was, I'm going to try to do this brass one again. This was really easy. I'm going to do another turning tool, a Z-bar. Just put it in there. And I'm going to use just this very straight pick. It's just got the littlest amount of bump on the end right there, if you can see that. Right there. And I'm also going to push down on the pins. Now, most of the guys I see picking locks uh, push up on the pins, but I like pushing down since I had a kind of a hand injury. And there is the original one that I opened. And they're both pretty easy to open. I would not classify them as the ultimate security military-grade padlock system. And yep, it deserves a little cowbell because they're made in the USA. Knuckle bomb.